Los Angeles Police Department began a criminal investigation of the superstar, prompted by allegations of child abuse. August 17th, the Los Angeles Police Department initiated a criminal investigation of entertainer Michael Jackson. The department has been in contact with the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office regarding this matter. Although we have confirmed the existence of the investigation, we have not disclosed any of the specifics publicly. LAPD also refused to comment on reports that warrants were served at Jackson's Neverland Ranch in Santa Inez and his condominium in Century City. Published reports say Saturday they served search warrants on Jackson's sprawling ranch in Los Angeles condo, even hiring a locksmith to ensure they would have access to all the rooms. At Michael's Santa Inez Ranch, the one he calls Neverland, it was business as usual today. Even as police continued their investigation into the complaint against Michael, workers were inside the compound building the superstar's next toy, a five-mile-long private railroad. Workers were inside the compound building the superstar's next toy, a five-mile-long private railroad. Jackson's people call it extortion. They deny the charge. Now, the 34-year-old Jackson talked about his efforts to help children in his February interview with Oprah Winfrey. We'll have like 100 bald-headed children here who they all have cancer. Mm -hmm. And they're running around and they're enjoying themselves. And it just makes me cry happy tears that I was able to do that. And joining us now from Michael Jackson's townhouse in Los Angeles is Tony Cox. And Tony, what's the latest out there? Well, sources tell us, Bill, that the police had to force entry through an upstairs window at Michael Jackson's townhouse when they came on last Saturday. We are also told that they left with several bags, although we are not told what those bags contained. As you know, Michael Jackson is the center of a criminal investigation, and he could either be a victim or the target of that investigation. According to an unnamed police source, a search of Jackson's ranch and condominium turned up no physical evidence, making the case unlikely to stick in court. Treated adoring fans with a wave and a smile mile from his hotel room. It's the second stop on his dangerous tour. Star Elizabeth Taylor has joined Jackson. He turns 35 tomorrow. Meanwhile, the investigation into allegations of child sexual abuse continues. Los Angeles police have confirmed that videotapes seized during a search of Jackson's home turned up no incriminating evidence. In Singapore, Jackson went to hotel windows waving to his cheering fans. Tomorrow, he turns 35 and is due to be joined in Singapore by sister Janet and friend Liz Taylor. Michael Jackson. Made they were up. harpooning a superstar on the radio, in print, and on television. The talk on talk radio was speculation about an investigation into sexual abuse charges by a 13-year-old boy against pop icon Michael Jackson. I hope he isn't going to be tarred and feathered before there's any real proof of anything. Los Angeles police sources admit the sexually exploited child unit is investigating and that two of Michael Jackson's homes were searched over the weekend. Its reported videotapes and photographs were seized. In this August 17th court document in a custody battle over the alleged victim, his father petitioned his mother not to allow the minor child to have any contact or communication with a third-party adult male known as Michael Jackson. The boy's father is a Beverly Hills dentist who co-wrote the screenplay for the recent Mel Brooks comedy, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Experts caution that accusations of child abuse are often a weapon used in custody cases. That is because there seems to be no limit in what one partner will do to another because they are um, angry and because they want to hurt the other parent and because they don't want to give up the child. 
Jackson is said to be dehydrated after last night's show. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, the investigation continues into child abuse allegations against Jackson. Charges that the superstar's family today called cruel and unfair. In the U.S., the Jackson saga continues to be front page news, and the press is having a field day with it. Music superstar Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson issued a statement. Michael Jackson was touring in the park. Some news crews are even camping out in front of Jackson's parents' home in Los Angeles, hoping for a response. You were outside Joe Jackson's home, the Jackson family compound, where we are told that a family meeting took place tonight. We can Neighbors of the Jacksons say it's been a circus. It's the most extreme that I've ever seen, and um, been here for about six, going on seven years. We've seen lots of tourists, lots of... People, fanatics, fans, whatever you want to call them, and lots of news trucks, but not quite like this. Michael Jackson's concert in Bangkok, Thailand, went as scheduled last night as the pop superstar launched the latest leg of his dangerous tour. He reportedly learned of the allegation over the weekend. Ironically, at about the same time Jackson was on stage, the Los Angeles Police Department was confirming the criminal investigation was underway. On August 17th, the Los Angeles Police Department initiated a criminal investigation of entertainer Michael Jackson. Child's father, seen here going into his Beverly Hills office, has refused to comment. But one thing is for sure, this story has now gone worldwide. No fewer than six daily newspapers in London splashed the Michael Jackson story on the front page. Although the superstar's family issued a statement saying Michael has been made the victim of a cruel and obvious attempt to take advantage of his fame and success, at the Jackson family home in Encino, no one is commenting on the child abuse allegations. Do you want to make any kind of statement? And it's the same story at Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch. We are not allowed to discuss the business of the ranch or the owner. These are our instructions. We will follow them. In fact, the official comment from the Jackson camp is that all these charges stem from an extortion plot against the singer. ABC's Judy Muller on the latest developments. Back on stage after canceling two performances, Jackson got a bit of good news today. The Los Angeles Times, quoting a high-ranking police source, said videotapes seized from Jackson's homes are not incriminating and that the lack of physical evidence has left investigators scrambling to get statements from other alleged abuse victims. And over the weekend, the cops raided Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch and his Los Angeles condo, reportedly seizing videotapes as evidence. But in the first bit of good news today, the Los Angeles Times quotes police sources as saying the videotapes contained nothing incriminating against the entertainer. Police investigators are now said to be scrambling to try to corroborate the young man's story. Michael's former employees at the ranch about what they saw. Neverland, that faraway fortress built on magic and fantasy. Michael Jackson's personal playground. Few people know the secrets of this place as well as Johnny Chow and Jamie Ruth Newkirk. They worked here and saw Michael day in and day out for most of 1989. They know the details of his home life and they say they know the real Michael Jackson. I was with him every single day. Um, you get to know a person over time that way. You get to know their likes and dislikes and just uh, how they treat people. Jamie Ruth Newkirk was house manager and major domo for Jackson. She designed his estate management system, trained the staff, made menus, and even entertained the kids. I never had evidence of anything mischievous or even secretive. Doors were always open. Everything was always very open. And there was no, there was no hiding, there was no secrets, there was no sneaking around. There was nothing like that. Johnny Chow is a chef who has cooked for just about anyone who's anyone in Hollywood. He was hired to fatten up the gloved one after Michael lost too much weight on the bad tour. He said Michael's dealings with kids were always on the up and up. Michael is genuine, he's honest, and he is probably one of the most honorable people I've ever met. They saw a target, in my eyes, and they, uh, they hit it. They, they went for it. The good that men do is sometimes buried by an avalanche of scandalous allegations, true or false. 
But those who love Michael Jackson around the world would have us all remember that the world of Neverland has brought a great deal of happiness to some children who would never have the chance to grow up. Support to lend moral support. In an interview with Newsweek magazine, she says Jackson would rather, quote, cut his own wrist than harm a child. I've been there when uh, the, these kids have been in Michael's room. I've been there with them. It's just party time. They watch videos, they eat junk food, they play video games. They play so hard, they fall asleep. They're exhausted, they fall asleep. No, There's nothing more to it than that. And by the end of the week, it appeared that could be correct. Police say their investigation so far has turned up no physical evidence linking Jackson to child abuse. But the Jackson allegations set off a summertime media frenzy even more intense than the hunt for Heidi's story. Child abuse behind him and dazzled a sellout crowd at the National Stadium during the performance his band gave him a special birthday surprise. Jackson, of course, has denied the allegations. He sexually molested a 13-year-old California boy. His friend, actress Elizabeth Taylor, and her husband have flown to Singapore to give Michael some moral support. We would like to take this opportunity when our family has come together in unity and harmony to convey our love and unfailing support for Michael. Further, we wish to state our collective unequivocal belief that Michael has been made a victim and cruel, obvious attempt to take advantage of his fame and success. We know, as does the whole world, that he has dedicated his life to providing happiness for young people everywhere. His compassion for the problems of all people is legendary. Accordingly, we are confident that his dignity and humanity will prevail this most difficult time. Our entire family stands firmly at his side. He looked very tired and pale to me. He seemed to have trouble walking, and he looked very, very worn, if you know what I mean, until he got to the window, and it's like someone switched on a switch, and he smiled, and he waved to the crowd, and he did his thing just for about two minutes, and then he turned away from the window, and it's like someone switched him off. And he went all sad again. I'm sorry, he, you, say, you say he looked sad? Sad, tired, drawn. Did it look like he was suffering from dehydration following his uh, Thailand well, tour? I, I'm no medical expert, but it looked to me that he, he was not well. Not well? Not well. And in this broadcast exclusive, Jackson's longtime friend Elizabeth Taylor, on her arrival in Singapore, told a current affair that Jackson's performances always take a heavy toll. Well, I've been uh, in this part of uh, the country, the world, in November and September and almost died. The humidity and the heat is overpowering. And to be on stage and give forth the kind of energy that he does, he loses over seven pounds of performance. Well, Jackson most wanted to see were the faces of his family. They flew in from California to support the troubled superstar. Actress Elizabeth Taylor has been the one working to boost his spirits. And she's here in Taiwan also, along with her husband, Larry Fortinsky. Despite the enthusiasm of welcoming fans at the hotel, the man Liz calls the king of pop is still struggling with two very big problems, his health and the new media assault by people who allege he's guilty of child abuse. With that kind of embarrassment dogging him here in Asia, it must have come as great comfort when the Jackson family called reporters to a Taiwan hotel. We'd like to say, tell him that we're with him and that we don't believe this story that people are trying to pin on me. And uh, we're family and we're right in here and stick by and we talk. And that's why I'm very strong against what's going on. And he knows himself and he knows he's not what they're trying to make out him to be.